this is Menji. Today we're going to make some DIY Vanna baskets. So these are the materials you will need for making this Vanna basket. The most important thing you will need is the wood. Um, I'm using some half inch square dowel I got from Home Depot. It's this type with the purple end. So it's the dimensions are here half inch times uh, 36 inches long. So it comes in a very long stick, about 36 inches. I saw them down to five inch sticks and I sand them before I do anything else to them. Uh, I think the key to making a pretty nice Vanna basket uh, is having a very polished end um, and also voice any splinters while forming and damaging your finger while doing this. So uh, these are basswood. I did a little bit of research on the Home Depot website. They're called hardwood dowels, but these are actually basswood, which came from the linden tree. Um, like cedar wood, uh, basswood is often used in sauna, so the wood doesn't warp under moist conditions. Um, but I have to say, this is probably not as durable as uh, teak or other types of expensive hardwood. Uh, it's much more sponge-like as um, it's not very heavy. It's not very dense, it's very light. But in a way, I prefer wood that's slightly less heavy because um, I use lava rock as my Vanna basket media and uh, the basket will eventually become really heavy and so it's kind of nice to have a lightweight wood anyway that is just the wood <laughs> you also need a drill uh, with a drill bits like that uh, just so you can make a little hose through the wood and some sandpaper just to sand down the wood right here you also need 14 gauge wire i don't like using 12 gauge wire because i cannot bend it myself Oh, you, all, you will also need a metal plier of some sort to bend the wire. Um, you probably need a hammer of some sort, just in case. Uh, and uh, this is totally optional, but I like my basket to last slightly longer. And uh, I want to put a coat of some kind of wood finish over the Vanna basket. Here I am marking the exact spot where I'm going to drill through on the wood. Um, for a 4 inch tall basket, you will need 18 of the 5 inch dowels and 2 of the 4 inch dowels. Um, of the 18 5 inch dowels, you only have to drill through 16 of them. I start from the bottom of the basket by hammering, by nailing down two pieces of the dowel onto the other two perpendicularly and for the two dowels on the edges you have to drill through and so as the, the dowels on the bottom and you flip them over later uh, you will cut four pieces of the wire slightly longer than five inches I'll say between six to seven inches so you can make a little hook on the end and that will actually push onto the dowels and hold it in place and because everything has been pre-drilled, this step is fairly easy. Just put through every single dowel, so two by on each layer, and just stack them up like a Jenga tower. The last step will be to curl in the wires, so make a little hoop at the end. This process will hold down all the wooden dowels in place. As we're not gluing anything down, the dowels are simply held up by the wire, and there's some movable space in between the wire axle and therefore if you apply some forces on the side of the basket it can turn it into a diamond shape which is not desirable to prevent that we can use uh, shorter dowels so just saw down f half an inch and half an inch on each side of the five inch dowel and just jam that four inch dowel in between the two and hammer it down with two nails to prevent to hold up the square shape of the basket Next step is to sand down the basket, and that's pretty much it for the construction of the basket. You can apply your desired wood finishing 
or leave it the way it is. And that's it for the making of the vanity basket. Baskets without coating, coating on the right, and decided to apply linseed oil to both of the baskets. I just want to talk about the difference between the commercial basket on the right and the baskets I made on the left. I went to uh, the Home Depot website and I found a commercially made baskets. Um, previously, I heard a lot of complaints about how uh, the commercial baskets have a lot of wood splinters. Oh yeah, it is true. As you see, these are full of wood splinters and look at this. This is the uh, sawing mark. Um, they didn't even bother sanding this part down. Uh, it's a solid basket. It works, but it's just the craftsmanship is crap. Sorry I said that, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm not a very perfect going wood woodworker, but look, I mean, just compare. And however, the material on this basket, it is much, much better. Um, it is made out of teak. Although they mixed in some type of other wood. Maybe this is the soft wood of the teak. These are the hardwood, the darker colors, which are high in oil. Um, teak is commonly used, I mean, traditionally used in Thailand for boat making. And so it's definitely a very durable material in humid environments. But basswood, which is the um, basket I made from, um, which is the wood I made my basket from, is uh, not traditionally used for boat making. It's used in carving a lot because how soft the wood is. Um, it is much, much less dense than teak wood. And therefore this basket weights probably one third of the weight of the teak basket. This is so much lighter, but it is not rot resistant. However, uh, because I figured one of the things that makes teak much better than most wood for vanity basket making is because the oil content. I put a coat of linseed oil, just a very light coat of linseed oil over it. And I set this basket on the side for probably, I'll say five days, just so this, the oil gets absorbed into the wood and it's very dry right now. There's no oil stains. Um, and I actually checked online, linseed oil is totally safe for uh, making wood baskets. It's uh, um, biodegradable in the environment. It's not toxic to aquatic animals and therefore it shouldn't damage your orchid roots at all. Um, it's a natural material. However, some processing contains some kind of alkaline chemicals, but it's very minimal and it shouldn't affect uh, your orchid growth. But overall, I think I wish I had the chance to uh, access a wood shop and I can cut down some better wood materials. However, this is all I have. These are pre-cut uh, dowels available at Home Depot. And uh, I think I like it so far, but I don't know how rot resistant my basswood would be even with the coat of linseed oil and so uh, we'll see hopefully I can sand all the splinters down on the commercial basket and if I can do that then this will be just as good as a well-crafted basket it just takes that extra uh, crafting so that's my review of the basket